Hello everyone, I finally decided to make the first step look for El Carto, a game you will soon hear about. Mainly to share it with you guys but also not to give up on this game because in the span of the last 4 months I worked on more than 7 projects but due to my loss of motivation on all of them I didn't end up finishing them nor making a devlog. So let's start the first devlog with an introduction. My name is Avi, I'm a 15 year old game developer who makes games for fun. I use Unity for my game development and I have been using it for the past 4 years. I had practice from game gyms and projects like Party Mania, Ball Tower Defense, the Planes vs Zombies game I made recently. That is also the reason I'm making this introduction. A lot of people came from that video, so even though I have a welcoming video up on this channel, I'm honestly not sure how many people are willing to go and watch that garbage. <laughs> I came up with the idea for this game by combining things I like, like chemistry, and putting them into a playable concept. Alcarto is a card game inspired by games like Magic the Gathering, Exploding Kittens, Claim, Q, because these are some of the games I've recently been playing a lot, and combining chemistry with a card game just seemed like a really good idea. The basic idea behind the game is you use chemicals and their reactions to deal damage to your opponent. You can combine them to deal even more damage and give your opponent status effects, which can then combine with other elements to do even more damage. That is the base idea behind this game, and I plan on adding a lot more to this concept, like pack opening, a deck editor, and even a story mode. My goal for this game is to basically have a game you can sit down and play while enjoying a nice tea or coffee, because if the game doesn't feel good to play then what's the point of having the game? Now this game is still in a prototyping stage, so it's nowhere close to the final game. I wanted to create a demo version for this game just so like people can play test it. I did this just to get the feel for things I needed to improve and see if the game had any hope of success. And to be honest with y'all, I still don't know. So while I might continue working on this game, I would really like if you could try out this early demo of the game in the description with only a tutorial working. I would be more than grateful if you could try out the game and give me some feedback. Look, there's even a feedback button in the game. Thanks in advance. Let's begin this journey with the most important part of this game. This is the battle zone, here is where you combine your elements to do damage to your opponent. And I've even made a small tutorial to make it easier to understand. You put your two elements into these slots and boom, they get combined. When you want to do damage to your opponent, you put your elements inside these slots and damn, damage is dealt to your opponent. By the way, anything you see here will need to be reworked and researched for a more accurate solution. So take everything with a grain of salt. For a tutorial to work I needed to make an AI, so I first tried using the neural network version, but after I spent two days trying to get it working, I understood I wasn't going to get anything done. So for now I decided to just hardcode one into the game itself. This was my first time trying to hardcode an AI, or even just make an AI, and it was really fun to try and understand my game and find out which combinations are the best to code into this AI. And I also understood I had to DOP it because people should probably beat the tutorial. So I added a 1 in 4 chance of the AI to combine an element. If he does combine an element, he will use the newly combined element to attack you. Else he will just use one of its many cards. I plan on trying to make the AI a bit more difficult for later and make it adjustable so I can make the story mode a bit more fun. When we're speaking of AIs and their uses, here's one. The story mode will have you fighting against different characters with different and unique decks. They will probably destroy you if you're not prepared, they will hopefully have some funny dialogue with them, and I've started working on the concept for some of them, but that's gonna have to wait until next time. Every story piece list period will be split up into its own parts. So you'll have these classes which you'll fight bosses in, and there are a lot of different concepts for these I've been working on. Something similar to Five Night and Franking where all of them are separate and you can just pick any one you want, so if you do get stuck on one, if your deck is not good for one, you can just go to the next one and destroy them. I also needed to make a deck that fits the tutorial and story mode while easy to learn and use, so I spent some time making this pre-made deck which is saved and can be changed. Even as to progress through the game, you can still keep using this deck or you can craft a new one with the cards you have unlocked from packs. There are 5 deck slots including the pre-made deck and a save system in place for decks. You can make new decks but the problem is there isn't really a deck building system in place currently, there will be one in the future though. 
as I've said before, there will be packs in this game, and I know what you're thinking. Microtransactions, right? Well, no, in this game everything will be earned by playing the game. The way you earn currency is by winning in battles, progressing in the story mode, achieving a high rank in the tournament, coming sometimes in the future. Packs can carry two types of things, elements or items. Elements are what you use in combat to combine them or just attack with them. And items are used for things like, uh, <clears throat> well, I don't really have an idea. Maybe something like copying an element or refreshing your hand, really I do not have a clear idea of what they're should be or know what they should do but I'm hoping you guys can help me with that by joining the discord in the description. I plan on basing them on things like an underwater pack, an air pack, I think I think that can be fun. Now it's probably weird I'm talking about the talus screen this late into the video but what can you do? To make a playable demo version you need to create a talus screen. So I made these atoms for the bacon and I really made this really cool effect like the Stardew Valley sun dragging where you can suck all the atoms into one place and then explode them away. Okay now let's get back to designing the talus screen. The buttons have this smooth fade in and fade out effect when mouse comes over them and the name was just a perfect click for me because it's a perfect play on words. Now as you could have seen from all this, I'm not using my regular pixel art style, but rather this vector style, because I feel as it's much cleaner and I feel as it fits a lot better into a game like this, where pixel art wouldn't really do the best job. But I also would like to hear your guys' opinion on this matter. Now as you can probably tell I'm making a vector art and these sprites might not look the best, but I'm trying my best and I'll improve them if I ever get the chance to. The music style for this game was just not easy to come up, because there is nothing that fits the chemical vibe and the relaxing vibe together that is so smooth and relaxing that you can just chill with it, vibe with it, it there's just nothing else than the ambience of water because water is a chemical element as we all know and it also fits that smooth, calm, relaxing vibe this game is supposed to carry. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!